Okay, this month we are talking about Android devices, Android devices, um, which as you can see I have a few. I have my, my main phone, my last phone, the Nexus 5, which I still love, uh, and the only reason I got a new one was because my wife's broke and they had a good deal on buying two, so I got the Motorola 4X or X4, I can never remember. And then I have these uh, Motorola G4s from 2014. Uh, again, I really like these at the time. I use them now. I do realize they were slow and I didn't notice that at the time. Uh, and again, uh, my wife, hers got a cracked screen, it was t so it was time to buy a new one. She went like this with this cracked screen and still works for a while. Uh, but then we upgraded to the Nexus phones and so I have these, the cracked one my kids use. Uh, but they're great for testing because I try to, I try to, you know, keep my main phone clean. But uh, I'll have these other ones for testing out applications and trying to, to fiddle faddle with stuff, fiddle faddle. Um, but with all of them, I like to use Torp a lot, and I don't like installing Torp on my devices, just not for any particular reason other than I, I try to not modify stuff that doesn't need modifications. So. Uh, what I usually do, and you'll probably have seen me do this in videos a lot, you can install Twerp to a recovery partition. Usually it's just, you know, flashing over that image. Uh, except for this, uh, the Moto X, it's a little different, but there is a process, I guess, to get it on that partition. But what I normally do is I have the Twerp images on my desktop, and you can just boot from it. So I hook up through USB, and I say, I go to the bootloader, and I use Fastboot, I say Fastboot, boot this image, and basically it pushes over uh, a Twerp image to the device and boots from it. It boots from RAM. It's like booting uh, a live USB uh, of Linux that loads to RAM. It only, you know, it's a small little partition image, and it only takes three to five seconds to copy over. You got Twerp, and then when you reboot, it's gone. Uh, so that's what I normally do, but it's kind of a pain to plug in the phone, go find the directory where I have those images uh, available, and then then type in the command twerp to this device. Uh, so what I did is I wrote a little script that kind of uh, makes it simpler for me, and that's what we're going to look at today. So if you have more than one Android device where they have more than one phone, a phone and a tablet, and they're all running fast boot, and you like to use twerp, but you don't want to install it similar to me, uh, maybe you can use this. It's only like maybe four or five lines of code uh, and super simple to use. So we're just going to look over that code and I'll demonstrate it. So let's get started looking at that. Okay, I got my Android device hooked up here through USB. Uh, but before we even look at that, let's look on my computer. I've created a folder in my home directory. I've been starting to put all my, uh, you know, uh, accessory files for my scripts into a hidden folder in my sub in my home directory called .fbk for films by Chris and then I'm putting stuff under a subfolder of that called Android for Android stuff and then in a folder called twerp so I'm going to list out the files in there and as you can see I have three images for twerp um, so I have bullhead uh, Peyton and Titan for the three different phones I have so now normally if I wanted to boot into um, twerp I would have to go into these uh, this folder and choose one of those and tell it to boot, uh, and then I have to remember which one's for which. Of course, I can always rename the file to match the device, uh, but I've created a script. So real quick here, I'm going to vim into my user local bin, and I have a script called twerp. And as you can see here, I set the directory, which we just looked at, and I'm using the home variable, so all you would have to do if you were to use a script, you can always change this, but make this folder and put your twerp files in there. And then here, uh, I'm kind of creating an array out of a string, which is a little weird to do, but that's how I tend to do it. Basically, I'm saying there's a variable called images, and then I give the name of the phone. Backslash T is for tab. Uh, and that just makes it look cleaner when we're searching through the files, and then the name of the image. And I have it for all three phones here. Uh, and then I take that and I pipe, I echo it out using the dash E option that allows these tabs to act as tabs. And I put it in the fuzzy finder, which I've talked about before, which is a great way to search through files. We don't have a lot to search through, but it makes it very easy to up, down, arrow, or type what you're looking for. And then after we select one, it's going to cut it at the tab and get the second field. So it's going to get the name of the image. So basically, we're going to load it up going to choose one of these things from the menu, it's going to grab the name of that image, and then it's going to run fast boot and boot that image. So it's not going to install it, it's just going to copy it over to the device to its RAM and boot from it, and we'll get into twerp. So or let's go ahead and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ADB reboot 
boots loader. Uh, of course, you have to have ADB installed and enabled, or not installed, but enabled. I'm going to click that, and my phone should restart and go to the bootloader. In this case, you know, fast boot bootloader. There we go. And now all I have to do is type in twerp. In fact, I could probably put that reboot command into my twerp because I'm almost always going to want to. But I'm at my bootloader now. I type twerp, and look, I get my options on my three different phones. And I can choose one. And you can see, again, that tab just makes it easy for you to read. This is the name of the phone. That's the image. And I can type one if I want. So, you know, I can come up here. If I type in NEX, it's going to narrow it down to that one. Or if I do 2014, it goes to that one. Or, you know, any of those. Uh, this is the Nexus 5. Nexus 5. I'm going to hit enter. And it copied over that image to the RAM of the device. And now it's booting into twerp. And that's all I have to do. So again, all I have to do is plug in one of my other phones, reboot to the bootloader, type in twerp, choose the one I want, and it will boot for it from it. So I thought I'd show you that little script. And again, uh, I will show you it right there. And uh, I'll post this online and put a link in the description. I actually had a different version of this, I think I put on my laptop, where I modified this instead of listing them all here. Um, it actually just uh, did the uh, list command on that folder and listed them all, and I put the name of each device into the file name uh, so that I can just add an image and not have to modify the script. That was the benefit of that. This version with the tab, I think it's a little bit easier to read. Um, so I'll post this online, but I might also post a modified version uh, where it's, you don't have to modify the script to get the image. Uh, you just have to copy the image to the folder that you want, and then obviously name it so you know which one's which, unless you know the code names for each of your devices. So that's it. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day. So I just finished recording that video, and I decided I was going to rewrite that script real quick. It was real simple to do, um, and that way people don't have to modify the script. All they have to do is create this directory, put their images in there, name them whatever they want. So as you can see, I renamed them. I just called them Moto G for 2014 IMG. Moto X4 dot IMG. Nexus 5X dot IMG. And then I uh, re wrote the script. It's even shorter now, so it doesn't have that list in here. Basically, all it does is we give it the directory where we have our images. And then I just list that out, put all those in there, and then I echo that, and we don't even need that dash E anymore, but it doesn't hurt to have it in there, into Fuzzy Finder, and boot. So it's even a, sh a shorter script now. Um, quit out of that. And now it doesn't matter what directory I'm in. Uh, my phone's already at the bootloader. I type in twerp. It gives me a list of them. This is the Nexus 5X. I can go up and down, or I can just type N E and hit enter. And now it pushed that over to the phone, checked it, booted to it, and it's done in 1.117 seconds. So yeah, I'll link in the description. I'm going to have both versions of the script. Um, again, the other one, uh, I had it to where it gives you the name, but you had to modify the script to enter in your information, which is, is bad. It's fine if I was just using it, but since I'm sharing it with you, I wanted to make it simpler. So all you have to do is create this directory, put your images in there, rename them if you want, unless you know which which ones are which code, and uh, and then you know put the script in one of your path directories and run it. So I hope you found that useful. Again, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. Also, there should be a link to both versions of the script in there. Uh, I hope that you have a great day.